This is Click and Mortar by Alex Beasley for MBA 6308 Marketing Strategy. A few weeks ago, my wife called me on my way home from work and said, Hey, would you mind going by Kroger? I placed an order on Kroger.com to pick up the groceries. And would you mind going by there and getting them for me? So sure enough, I drove by there, drove into stall number three, called the number, and uh, an associate brought our groceries out to us, and then I took them home to my family. This is an example of a click and mortar transaction. So what exactly is click and mortar? It's a blending of the two strategies, the offline brick and mortar traditional strategy with the online pure play, pure click strategy, and marrying them together. It's not just the brick and mortar, nor is it just the pure play. A lot of times it gets confused. The click and mortar can be confused, especially with the pure play. But there's a couple differences. Naturally, a pure play is all online, but the big thing is the warehouse. So like a pure play warehouse is going to be off-site somewhere. Uh, customers are not allowed to, to go there. It's just going to be just for the online business. Whereas the click and mortar the storefront, the brick and mortar, is the warehouse. So when a customer places an order, an associate or the business owner will have to go get that item from the store and ship it or take it to the customer. This is the huge difference between a brick and mortar and a, and a, a click and mortar and a pure play. So why... Our businesses is getting in click and mortar. Well, it's mainly because of the rise in online shopping. In 2019, according to Statista, there was 1.92 billion purchases online. 1.92 billion for a total of more than $3.5 trillion worldwide. And in 2020, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, it's further entrenched the online shopping. Whereas in June, June alone, there were 22 billion visits to online shopping websites. 22 billion. So what are some of the advantages to, uh, to click and mortar? So number one, it's marketing ability. So with the traditional brick and mortar, you're going to have more traditional marketing. It's going to be very limited to traditional marketing where uh, newspaper, radio, uh, possibly word of mouth, just very traditional uh, marketing. But with the combination of the online strategy, uh, be it online storefront, the website, it really opens up possibilities to have uh, some digital marketing some social media marketing, retargeting, email marketing, uh, really widening up that marketing funnel. Just gives a much larger marketing ability. Number two, it gives much more versatility to the business and to the customer. Normally with a brick and mortar, the business is only open uh, you know, a certain time of the day and week. So the customers can only go shop a certain time. But with the click and mortar, with the online web store, it is virtually open 24-7. Not only is it open 24-7, but it's open to people around the world so it, it can give more versatility for the customer base. Because with the brick, brick and mortar, it's going to be localized, just with a radius of a few miles from within the store. But with the online presence, it gives a customer base is virtually around the world. Number three, it's a greater customer experience. Customers can, of course, shop, but they can see the business. They have ability to uh, know what the business is about. Uh, they can, the business may have a chat feature. Uh, they have FAQs. The customer service is better. Uh, they can compare and contrast the, the differing products. It's just a lot better, more rich experience for the customer. 
Number four, feedback. The business is able to obtain much better feedback from the customer. So traditionally with the, with the brick and mortar, they have to, they would have to either comment cards or watch what the customer is doing. They would actually have to be more physical in the physical presence of the customer. But with online, they can use a, a much more web analytics or the customers can leave reviews and the business can see the reviews. Uh, it just is able to see what the customer is looking at uh, and what the what the customers are interested in. It's just much better feedback through that. So what are a, a few strategies I want to look at? There's many strategies, but there's just a few. Is Number one, the web store. The web store is the most common one what people think about when they think of a click and mortar uh, what, the, what this is, of course, is the, the customer will purchase it online and the, the business will ship it directly to them. But uh, related to that, a variation of it is the click and collect. And click and collect is what's at the forefront these days, where the customer purchases online and then goes to the store. Now, this creates uh, some advantages, especially for the business, uh, where the business uh, because they had creates more traffic into their store and then when the customers are there they're much more likely to purchase more products and three in-store enhancements so in-store enhancements is using the mobile device we're using apps uh, using Wi-Fi knowing what the customer is looking at or the business able cross sell and it really kind of get more of a better experience with the brick and mortar however this can be somewhat difficult to do there's privacy issues and it can be quite expensive so two examples of click a, a companies that are on the forefront of click and mortar are walmart and amazon now they are the world's largest retailer and the most of the, the leading retailers in the world but it's interesting because they're you know, high competitors, but they've started from two completely different spectrum. Walmart started with the brick and mortar and Amazon has started with the pure play online only. However, they've really are coming in the middle with Walmart, with their new Walmart plus, where they're really trying to compete with Amazon's prime and uh, Amazon with their whole foods purchase is, and some of their stores that they're starting up is really looking at getting more in the brick and mortar because they see value to both both uh, uh, strategies. So what is the future of the click and mortar? So the future, it's estimated by 2040, 95% of all shopping transaction, transactions will take place, some sort online activity will take place during, whether before, after, the actual purchase itself, 95% will be online. So what are businesses doing? One of the new things that with augmented reality, now I'm not a digital expert, but augmented reality is a, where the, the customer will be able to actually be in the, be like they're in the store from the comfort of their home using their virtual reality, their augmented reality device, and be like they're walking through the store, being able to look at the products as they're walking uh, and, and from, all from the comfort of their home. But the brick and mortar isn't going where, anywhere either. The brick and mortar aspect is, as researchers see, the world is becoming more and more segmented and fragmented. And, and people have a need for a community. And the physical marketplace is, is bridging that need and going to continue to meet that need for community. So in conclusion, as we have seen, Click and mortar is a wave of the future that is here now, that businesses must, it is imperative that businesses must invest greatly in their click and mortar strategy.